Hello everyone and welcome to this week's extension quick tutorial. This week I'm going to be talking about the differences between using vanilla or the built-in JavaScript versus using something like a predefined library, like a lot of people like to use React, Vue, uh, Node.js, and stuff like that. My perspective is slightly different coming from a native JS type of background, not learning any libraries until recently. So I'm going to provide some useful uh, information about the pros and cons of the two different ways you can use JavaScript in your extensions and a little bit more about them. And of course, make sure you check out all the links down below to follow us, support us, uh, subscribe and everything else that you can find down there. So let's just jump straight into it. Here I'm looking at a, an example of something that I used completely vanilla JS to create. Um, not only is it a somewhat pretty looking extension, it has some cool functionalities uh, like the ability to play audio directly from a web server. You can skip forward or backwards in time, play different stuff, download it, and all of this. All of this was done in vanilla JS, of course, with some useful help from the back end side of things. But for the most part, this was 100% just figured out from scratch. If I wanted to generate a waveform, I created a function and built that waveform from scratch. If I wanted to download something or play something directly from the server, I would do that straight from scratch um, and no built-in libraries that people often use. To be honest, when I was starting to learn extensions, which was sort of my full foray into JavaScript, I didn't really know about any of the libraries that were available. I had, of course, heard of like Node.js and React, but I didn't really see any reason to use them because what I was doing for Adobe programs, I never saw anything using it uh, directly and none of the teaching materials used it. So I basically figured everything out from scratch, just JS that can work in the browser in an extension and translates really well as well to JavaScript extended if I need. The first kind of con to programming vanilla JS stuff by yourself is that you are going to have a much steeper learning curve in that um, your projects at first are going to be much slower when you're trying to figure things out just in pure JavaScript. Of course, you're gonna be doing the normal Googling, Stack Overflow checking to learn a lot of these basic things. Uh, but to program everything from scratch is gonna definitely take you a lot longer to learn than just learning a library because libraries are typically designed to make already existing complicated tasks much easier. They might package an entire thing that you might take an entire week to learn in vanilla JS into just a few simple functions. So obviously the initial burden of learning is going to be a lot worse if you do everything uh, from scratch. But another pro to doing things from scratch is you have such a detailed understanding once you overcome that learning curve. Your understanding will encompass other areas of programming as well, not just JavaScript, but you'll be able to start visualizing in your head things uh, that you can program. You won't have to be, well, is there a React or a Vue function that does what I need to do or things like that? Because you already are writing the JavaScript at the most base level, you already know everything that's possible to do uh, within a sense. Like when I was making this project, for example, I knew that we were going to need waveforms and I knew that the back end was going to provide uh, some random values which indicated like the intensity of the waveform. So me being a vanilla JS programmer, I just thought, well, all I have to do is essentially create a div, which then contains a whole bunch of elements, each with varying intensities. And based on those intensities, I'm going to increase the size or the padding or the margins to make them taller. And of course, if it has a smaller one, uh, it's gonna be smaller. And then there's also a matter of different lengths of audio and different normalizations. So some audio might be naturally more loud or quiet than others. So all of this was something I could already start thinking about uh, through the lens of vanilla JS. Um, and that's exactly how I programmed it. If you were to do this with another library, they may have support for this very specific feature and that's why you're attracted to it. But then you might come to another feature and that may be very difficult to figure out with that library. Pro in this case would be that if you know VanillaJS, you can really think of things at the root level. You can visualize things before you ever start programming them and you don't have to think about where in the library to look or what functions may or may not be missing 
from your library to make things work. And of course, that brings up the con for libraries is that although it's quicker to learn, you're going to have to be much more limited in your thinking in some respects. And of course, when I say libraries, it's just supposed to be a general term. I don't mean specifically just Node.js, React, and Vue. These are, of course, the most popular and common because they have a ton of flexibility. Uh, but even if you're just including a small JS library you found on CodePen or GitHub, uh, this will also, of course, apply in that you're going to be very limited in what you're able to do. And if you need to think about a very new concept, it may be easier just to know the basics of vanilla JS. So I would say those are the two main things at first. You have the learning curve of initially learning vanilla JS versus a library. It's going to be much harder for vanilla JS and much easier for a library. But then you have sort of the conceptualization and uh, pre-coding phase, you could say. In my opinion, once you get over that uh, curve at the beginning for vanilla JS is going to pay off much more because you know exactly how everything is broken down to the most basic level. Whereas with the library, you may not have that flexibility and you may have to do quite a bit of research or Googling or documentation reading to see if what you want to do is even possible. Now, one thing I should note is that I am not a designer. And one thing about vanilla JS is it does force you to take a lot more time in making things look pretty. Uh, even just little micro adjustments to make sure things are aligned properly um, and a whole lot of stuff like that will be a lot more difficult with uh, vanilla JS versus a library usually has really good integrated uh, predefined elements or good CSS that's already established. And lastly, this may be more of an opinionated thing, but if you learn vanilla JS, you're going to be better off for any other programming languages you learn as well as you'll be better off just in general uh, if any new JavaScript comes out or any time you have a new challenge. JavaScript is my first programming language that I would say I'm fluent in. Uh, so when I write pseudocode or when I whiteboard out some problems, for me, it's always in JavaScript. So in my opinion, if I was to write out my code in vanilla JS versus having to write out my code in some predefined libraries, terms, and standards, I'm going to have a much harder time with a library. And in my opinion, writing vanilla JS is just more fun because you are getting down into the nitty gritty. You're not saying, hey, please generate a waveform for me. I am going in and manually creating the waveform with individual divs, color values, and defining all of that, which not only allows me to have a great understanding of everything, have some fun while I'm doing it, albeit a fun challenge for my brain, um, it's also going to give me the confidence in the future that I'll be able to do other stuff and even make optimizations to how fast the code runs. Obviously, this video is more skewed towards those of you who want to learn vanilla JS because that's the way I grew up and learned. And that is not to say you shouldn't use libraries. I do often use libraries and the more mature in my coding I get, the more I learn about them. And I'm using things like Node.js much more to do file uh, side things instead of having to go into the JSX to do them and all kinds of stuff like that just to make life easier, more organized and things like that. So maybe the last thing is to not look away from one or the other. Try both. Make sure you're able to do both and you'll be able to understand things at their root. And also if you need to make things quickly or make them pretty um, or do functions in a more organized way, you can look into more library stuff. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out all the links down below to uh, follow us, check out products, and subscribe and like the video. Uh, but that is the differences between vanilla JS and using, for example, libraries for JavaScript. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.